Hi Virgo, this is Simone with your tarot reading for the full moon in Aquarius and the second of three lunar eclipses. The energies are already intense. Um, I mean, they have been for quite some time, but for these last few days, I've been feeling a bit um, unsteady, anxious. So I've had to be, you know, I've had to take my salt baths, take my deep breaths, um, connect with my ancestors, my spirit guides, call on, on the angels, whatever I need to get me through each moment, you know? It's not even about the day, it's about each moment, you know? Moment by moment, constantly, constantly, constantly reminding myself about the fact that I am a spirit and all is well and we are definitely guided and we are being uplifted. Tiny life shifts are happening, people. You know what I mean? This is realness here. So I thought to myself, because it's such um, intense energies and powerful energies, uh, eclipses are portals, really. We are being shot into different timelines. Our idea and concept of what life was at the beginning of this year, a month, six months ago, three months ago, one month ago, a few weeks ago, sometimes even a few moments ago, it's totally different from where we are in this moment and the next moment and the next moment. So it's definitely deep spiritual um, shifting happening. So I thought I would use the major cards only for this week as the major cards represent those deep spiritual influences um, universal influences. This isn't anything outside of us. This is all within us. So first I ask spirit to allow me to channel messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the full moon in Aquarius and Lunar Eclipse. May it be for the highest good of all involved. Ashe. Um, spirit, I ask you spirit guide, what message do you have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. For the full moon in Aquarius and lunar eclipse, one clear card, one clear message for Virgo. What do you want Virgo to know? For this full moon? Thank you so much. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Ashe. Bottom of the deck, Virgo is the sun. We're in Leo season now. This is what's happening underneath, and I will say this because. As I was saying to you, I feel of a sorts. I feel anxious. I'm a Virgo, Virgo sun. I feel like I'm waiting with bated breath, that type of vibe. I don't know if that's what you guys are feeling as well. But the card for us this week is Wheel of Fortune reversed. And it's that exact type of energy where you might feel Wheel of <clears throat> Excuse me, Wheel of Fortune Reverse could speak about bad luck, um, disappointments, things not, not flowing as you would wish, um, things feeling upside down. Um, and, but, and, at that, and it's card number 10, which is like completion of a cycle or a phase, you know, things falling into place and you're able to come full circle with whatever this is spiritual work this is deep within you this is where you are you are in the wheel and again this is the second of three eclipses so i feel like the first one we're on the wheel and you know it's 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 been it's spun us around and here we are now second of three eclipses and it's like we're hanging upside down waiting for it to complete waiting for the wheel to turn again and that's the thing to remember that whatever goes up goes down. Whatever goes down goes up is a constant cycle. So to have the sun at the bottom of the deck, um, the underlying energies, you know, this is so beautiful because the sun is just that vitality, um, opportunities, blessings, gifts. This is sun energy, act active energy, you know. This is what's shining on you. 
and we're in Leo season so even if you might be feeling out of sorts because really and truly our spirits have shifted and our bodies are trying to catch up so we need to drink lots of water people lots of water herbal teas uh, salt baths whatever you need to hold on as we are spinning on this wheel Virgo we are spinning on this wheel waiting for things to make sense our higher selves already know it already makes perfect sense to us on a deep level it's just for us to remember for our minds our physical bodies to remember to catch up to where our spirits are already where our higher selves are already um leo season to have the sun appear how beautiful all these sunflowers vitality excitement happiness fulfillment joy that's this all that type of energy from Virgo. So keep on hanging on, holding on, taking those deep breaths. Because you can do it, Virgo. Um I just love this. I love I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. That's what's happening. So let me see what the Oracle cards have to say. Oracle, what message do you have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's the message? Okay, so Oracle, one clear card for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. What message do you have for Virgo? For this full moon and to go with these two beautiful cards what's the energy what's the message thank you wow two cards number 27 and number four both reversed the first one is higher okay so this is it upright it's higher power but it's reversed for you and the second one is exchanging gifts Again, it's reversed so I'll read it read both cards for you so card number four is the first one higher power and it says now is the time to examine what you're giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind if you're obsessing about being right about old resentments or failed expectations about money or about any other people places or things these will be the source from which you create but you want spirit to be your source oh. take heart for your higher power will never desert you and it's always waiting for you to remember the sacred partnership you share <clears throat> turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good there is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. That's the first one. The second one is exchanging gifts, card number 27. And your message is quite lengthy. But um, your message is be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. And then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent di dynamic, or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself the time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. So Virgo, that's you. 
you know where are you out of balance what needs to happen for this wheel to come back again full circle and know that you have the full backing of source the full backing of the universe shining on you your ancestors your benevolent ancestors your spirit guides you have all of that supporting you so Virgo that's your message for the full moon in Aquarius um, if you guys have any questions just drop a comment below you can send me an email if you're interested in a personal reading moongoddesscc at gmail.com you can Find me on Instagram at moongoddesscc underscore tarot. And um, Virgo, that resonated with me. I hope it did for you guys. Um, you're good. We're good. You know, we're good. We got this. Yes. So continue with your inner healing continue to let things flow through you know that you are always connected and aligned and all is well truly all is well sending you all the love balance and wholeness to you guys have a beautiful full moon and lunar eclipse and i will see you guys soon take care bye